Okay, everybody hit soft menu button number five and hit stop, then hit escape. Press the zoom button one time down here at the lower right-hand corner. And go ahead and turn, turn display off. Now I'm back to the main window only. Okay, we're going to make a, a parameter measurement. Well, let's see, we did parameter measurements earlier. Let's do a really fast one. Press the measure button here at my fingertip, measure. You may already have a measurement. Just make sure measure is on. I have, on my measurement here, I have period, one millisecond. I have duty cycle, 50%. Okay, so press the soft menu button number one again and select statistics. Okay. This is uh, just old school statistics. In this case, we have uh, only one acquisition, which is acquisition number zero. So at this time, I want to reacquire this waveform with multiple acquisitions. So everyone press start, start button here at my fingertip. Take your horizontal knob, your time per division knob, turn it clockwise until you have 20 milliseconds per division. Okay, so at this time we have the period on channel one, which I've named BBB. The period is one millisecond. The maximum of 93 or 95 acquisitions. The maximum of, actually, please press stop. Press the stop button. We have measure in statistics mode. And in this case, I'm measuring period of channel one. It's one millisecond for the most recent acquisition. The maximum period was one millisecond. My minimum period was 999 microseconds. My average of 114 acquisitions, my average is one millisecond. My standard deviation is 63 nanoseconds. So this is old school statistics that have been uh, produced for us uh, in my case, for 114 acquisitions. Please look on your monitor now and see where it says stopped, and then the number right there to the right of stopped. It should say 114 or something similar. That's the number of acquisitions that we have uh, acquired for these statistics. If you want to see where those acquisitions are, let's go to history. Pr press the history button here where my fingertip is. Soft menu button number two, press that one time. And now, just turn the knob to the left, and you'll see that count, minus one, minus two, minus five or six. Those acquisitions are numbered back in time. Zero is the most recent acquisition. I'll just throw that in there. We'll talk about history some more later. So we've done parameter measurements such as volts peak to peak, duty cycle and period, and those are automatic. Uh, and we've also seen statistics of those. There are other statistical modes. Please, everyone, press measure, then press soft menu number one. And these are cycle statistics, which is per cycle of the waveform. And then history statistics, which is simply performed on all of the old previous acquisitions, which we have down here in our history menu. I'm going to turn my measure mode off. And we've done cursor measurements. We used horizontal cursors. Um, I'm going to show you one very unique uh, measurement here. Adjust your time per division, please, to one millisecond per division and press start. So you should have a waveform about this, about 10, 10 cycles of your waveform on the screen now. Press measure, the button here at my fingertip, mode on, measure setup, soft menu button number two. Okay. Turn off the measurements in here. I'm going to turn off duty by using the, the big knob and the set button. You can hit all clear. Self-menu button number uh, six. 
will clear all those measurements. Uh, everyone press delay setup, soft menu button number four. Press uh, mode degree using the set button. I just want to get everyone acquainted with this feature. This is a very automatic way. If you need to measure the difference in degrees between two waveforms, this is the very best way to do it. And I just want you to realize that it's here. And the first time you use it will be a, a, a little bit puzzling. But I've written a three, three slides PowerPoint that will um, show you how to use it step by step. OK, press Measure then press off. And what I'll do next is show you some uh, math waveforms. At this time, we only have one channel, but what we can do is add this channel to itself. So press math, which is the button here, right above the mag and the zoom functions. Math button, press it one time. Soft menu button number one, mode, set it to on. Soft menu button number two, math setup. And then math one is highlighted. Press set, the button over here. Operation is off. We're going to press set again. I'm going to use the down arrow and choose S1, signal one plus signal two, and press set again. I'm going to set source one equal to channel one, and that's already set for me. So go down and highlight source 2, channel 2, and set it for channel 1. So you'll be adding channel 1 plus channel 1. Um, once you have that set up, you can hit escape a couple times and then hit the math button. There's some other functions in here. Uh, actually, let's, let's clean up our display real quick. Everyone hit the display button. Set format on soft menu button number one. Set that for two. OK, so at the top of the screen, you should have channel one. At the bottom of the screen, you'll have channel one plus channel one. OK, press math button one more time, math. And there's a start point in here. I mean, I can tell the DL850 just to ignore some points over here. So I'm going to choose start point button number, soft menu button number six, start point. And I'm just going to adjust that for minus four or minus three. Here I've got it set for minus one. So this saves resources. It ignores this first piece of this waveform and does the math only on this piece of the waveform to the, to the right of that cursor. And I have an end point, too. I can set it. And, and now, very specifically, here's channel 1. And then here's channel 1 added to itself, channel 1 plus channel 1, only between this pair of start point and end point cursors that I've placed there. So if you'll press soft menu button number 7, next one of two, you'll see some other mathematical setups. These are related to uh, averaging, FFTs, uh, filter setups. And you can put constants in here and add constants or multiply constants. If you got the G2 user-defined math feature, you'll see that in here, too. Press math, and then press soft menu button number two, which is math setup. That's on soft menu page number one. It's math one is highlighted. Go ahead and press the set button and select math one. Make sure operation is highlighted here. You can use the up down arrow or the big knob to select it or highlight operation. It'll say right now it says operation S1 plus S2. I'm going to select that with the set button here at my fingertip. OK. If you have G2, it should say user defined math here at the bottom. Let's all go back to the utility button right here at the very bottom of the DL850. See where my finger is? It says utility. Press that. And then press soft menu button number six, which is overview. And this is all your features in the scope. Also, your firmware version is down here at the bottom. So it's very easy. Please, everyone, check your firmware. You should be at least up to 1.36 uh, or 1.37.